This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for May 10th, 2024. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Just announced the popular Mons Tour 2, featuring Falling in Reverse, Dance Gavin Dance, Black Veil Brides, Tech 9, and Jerris Johnson, hits the Leader Bank Pavilion in Boston on September 9th. Tickets for the tour go on sale today at 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster. Check the links in the show notes of this episode to get yours. New releases out today include Incubus, Morning View 23, Kings of Leon, Can We Please Have Fun, Power Man 5000, Abandoned Ship, and Sublime with Rome, Sublime with Rome. A&E is offering viewers a backstage pass to the celebrated careers of some of hard rock's greatest rock legends. With new specials celebrating rock icons like Brett Michaels from Poison, Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister, Alice Cooper, Sammy Hagar, and Sebastian Bach. Produced by Banger Films under the Biography banner, the series premieres Sunday, June 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern with Biography Brett Michaels. Followed by Dee Snyder on June 23rd at 9 p.m., Alice Cooper on June 23rd at 10 p.m., Sammy Hagar on June 30th at 9 p.m. and Sebastian Bach on June 30th at 10 p.m. 21 Pilots have debuted an unreleased song, The Craving. While performing in London, you can watch performance footage online. The band recently delayed their upcoming album, Clancy, by a week so they could finish shooting music videos for all of the album's songs. The album is now set for release on May 24th via Fueled by Ramen Records. Carmina Peace has announced a new Cactus album with a massive all-star lineup called Temple of Blues, Influences, and Friends. It follows up 2021's Tightrope and features artists like Joe Bonamassa, Dee Snyder, Pat Travers, Warren Haynes, Vernon Reed, Steve Stevens, Ted Nugent, Johnny A, Ty Tabor, and Doug Pinnock, Billy Sheehan, Tony Franklin, Tim Ripper Owens, Rudy Sarzo, and many more. Founding MC5 drummer Dennis Thompson has passed away at the age of 75. The news comes just three months after the death of guitarist Wayne Kramer and a month after MC5 manager John Sinclair passed away. Dennis Thompson, the last remaining original member of the band, died in a care facility in Taylor, Michigan after a series of medical issues, including a heart attack last month. The news was confirmed in a social media post by Chris McNulty, Thompson's son, who had grown up unaware of the identity of his biological father, but tracked him down via an Ancestry website just two years ago, saying, quote, I absolutely cherish the times we spent together. MC5's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was confirmed last month. According to Becky Tyner, widow of frontman Rob Tyner, who passed in 1991, she said, quote, it's about fucking time. Vocalist Danny Filth from Cradle of Filth has spoken about the band's upcoming collaboration with Ed Sheeran, saying, quote, it was going to be on the upcoming Cradle of Filth album, but chances are, because we don't want to delay our record any longer than it can, it'll probably go on a special edition. That's because Ed is taking a blackout this year. Totally no musical output. And of course, you can't release it at the same time. His management were like, you've got to appreciate that you can't release your single at the time of one of Ed's singles because it totally defeats the purpose of it. Saying it's not a novelty song. He continued, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the fact that it's getting released in its own stream. I mean, obviously, everybody will make a big deal out of it because it is what it is, but it kind of takes the onus out of us making a meal of it. A judge has ruled that Brian Wilson will be placed in a conservatorship, which will be run by his longtime publicist and manager, Gene Seavers, and his longtime business manager, Leanne Hart. The conservatorship was applied for in February, shortly after the death of his wife and manager, Melinda. It was noted at the time that Wilson, who is 81, suffers from dementia and is no longer able to care for himself. Wilson's two eldest daughters, Carney Wilson and Wendy Wilson, stated all of Brian's children who wish to be added will be added to a text chain from his nurses providing updates about Brian. They also requested that the aforementioned conservators be required to consult them and their five other siblings regarding all material health care decisions. 
ACDC has shared the first photo of the band's new touring lineup featuring singer Brian Johnson, guitarist Angus and Stevie Young, drummer Matt Logg, and bassist Chris Chaney. The band's 24-date power-up European tour kicks off on May 17th in Germany. The Pretty Reckless have been added as the opener for the entire tour. And the release date for the third season of the highly popular series, The Bear, has been confirmed. All episodes will stream on Hulu starting on June 27th. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 205 featuring Ed Roland from Collective Soul is available now. And check out this week's bonus episode featuring Seether.